One in three individuals visits a physician every year for gastrointestinal complaints. Gastrointestinal disorders have an increasingly significant impact on the status of the workforce and the economy. Between 2015 and 2017, Professor Jonas F. Ludvigsson contacted all of Sweden's 28 pathology departments to collect biopsy data from the gastrointestinal tract, including the liver, pancreas, and the gallbladder, to form the espresso cohort. The cohort consists of more than 2 million patients and in total 6.1 million biopsies. For instance, the cohort consists of data from nearly 350,000 liver biopsies and more than 2.3 million colorectal biopsies. The Espresso study enables researchers to identify diagnoses and disease phenotypes that are not currently indexed in national registers, including disease precursors. Furthermore, it increases the sensitivity and specificity of already recorded diseases in the Swedish National Health Registers, which can help researchers identify the onset of IBD, as well as the degree of fibrosis and cirrhosis in liver disease. Data from all study participants have since been linked to Swedish National Healthcare Registers, allowing research on such aspects as fetal and perinatal conditions and risk of future GI disease but also risk of comorbidity, complications, and death in GI disease. In 2021, the cohort was the basis of more than 30 publications. The Espresso cohort was initiated by Jonas F. Ludvigsson. Following a Fulbright Research Scholarship at the Mayo Clinic, he was appointed Professor of Clinical Epidemiology at Karolinska Institute in 2013. In 2015, he was named adjunct professor at Columbia University and was the chair of the Swedish Society of Epidemiology in 2011-14. He's also a practicing pediatrician at Örebro University Hospital in Sweden and former chair of the Swedish Society of Pediatrics. According to the Clarivet Web of Science and PubMed, Ludvigsson has been the number one researcher at Karolinska Institute in terms of first and last author publications in the last five years. Overall, he has more than 50 publications at first last author in journals with an impact factor above 20. This includes publications in the last two years as senior author in the New England Journal of Medicine, The Lancet, JAMA, and the BMJ. Seeing patients on an almost daily basis is the driving force for my research. I've been following kids with celiac disease, inflammatory bowel disease and liver disease for many years now. Through the personal identity number, we're able to link data on millions of individuals to answer questions often posed by patients themselves. Through the Espresso Coach study, we can make a difference to the lives of people with gastrointestinal disease. I found this extremely rewarding, and I have to admit, I love doing research. I love etymology. Initiating the Espresso Coach study is perhaps my main contribution to research. I hope to continue working with this study for at least another 20 years, and I welcome new collaborators.